watch it. Hello and welcome to Mega Anime Reviews. Today is the 36th anniversary of Gundam! I wish I could have done something cool and interesting for the celebration, but unfortunately I couldn't think of anything, since everyone else is probably doing something far cooler. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take a look at two OVAs from the franchise, the 8th Mobile Suit Team and War in the Pocket. Why am I taking a look at these in particular? Well, because they both deal with similar themes from different perspectives, take place in the same time frame, are each considered great by the fanbase, and are dubbed by Animaze. You know, these guys. Well, whatever, let's start out this double feature with the 8th MS Team. What's the story, you may ask? Well, it is the year 0079 of the Universal Century, taking place in the war between the Federation and the Zeons, as seen in the original Mobile Suit Gundam. Shiro Amada is the latest newbie from the Academy, having just been assigned a command duty on one of the Mobile Suit teams on Earth. En route, he rescues one of his future teammates, Terry Sanders, from a Zeon Mobile Suit, though he himself becomes stranded in space after the fight. He meets the pilot of the Xeon mobile suit, named Aina, who of course is going to be his love interest, and both team up to survive until they get picked up by their respective sides. On Earth, he meets up with the rest of his team, and from there most of the episodes are about the conflict between his team, the local guerrilla forces, and the Xeons. Eventually, he and Aina meet again and fall in love, even though they only met like twice. However, things get more complicated when both sides become aware of the quasi-relationship they share. The animation is excellent. The battles are awesomely detailed with smooth animation. The music is pretty solid too. Nothing stands out too much, but they do a good job of conveying the emotions of the scenes. The English dub is pretty great. All of the cast do a wonderful job of playing their characters. However, the odd voice that stands out is Amelia Brown as Aina. Her voice seems really odd and out of place, and her acting isn't quite the best from the dub. The rest are fine though, so no complaints. Let me get the good stuff out of the way. The series does a good job of capturing the war is hell aspect, allowing for really great dramatic scenes and genuine tension during battles. However, they don't overdo it and manage to find an appropriate balance between the awfulness of warfare with comedic and heartwarming moments. The characters are interesting for the most part, with a few of them going through good character development, with the members of the 8th MS team in particular being pretty likable and fun to watch. However, there is one fatal flaw that prevents it from being excellent. It has probably the stupidest Gundam romance ever. Yes, seriously, the relationship between Shiro and Aina is just really friggin' stupid. They meet up face to face in an abandoned spaceship, and even though they are both aware that they are enemy pilots, they instantly form a deep connection. Like immediately. The second time they meet, they declare their love for one another even though they didn't spend all that much time together. I usually don't agree with the assholes, but <laughs> You know, Amro and Lala may not have had much interaction, but at least when they first met and fell in love, they weren't aware of each other's status as enemy pilots, making it easier for the romance to develop. It's even stupider once you consider that Shiro has a deep hatred for the Zeons for what they did to his colony, which is kind of glanced over throughout the OVA. Also, Aina herself isn't that interesting a character. She's essentially a Salem Mass, Relina Peacecraft style character, but with none of the personality and depth that would define them. 
She doesn't have that much chemistry with Shiro either, so the romance plot fails horrifically. Oh, and the last episode of the series is completely and utterly pointless. Just ignore episode 12, since episode 11 has a more satisfying ending. In any case, the 8th Mobile Suit team is average. The story is decent and most of the side characters are interesting, but the romance between the main characters and Aina's lack of depth are what hold it back from escaping Earth's gravity. Anyway, that's the end of part 1. Tune in next time for a review of War in the Pocket.